Welcome, Rebel Cab Medic here. Uh, first video. I've been on YouTube for a little while as just a viewer. Now I'm, I guess I'm publishing a video. That's great. Okay, basically, uh, I watched a lot of videos lately on bug out bags, get out bags, get home bags, ditch bags. You name it, it's a bag. It's been made. They're cool. Uh, there's a lot of good ones out there. I appreciate everybody that put them up. You guys gave me a ton of ideas. Uh, that I thought I I thought I knew everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, it got put in my place. No problem. Uh, I'm a big man. I can accept it. Okay. Basically, but one thing I've noticed over all of this that seems to get missed is uh, the first aid kit. Everybody buys these generic. Well, not everybody, but most people are buying these generic first aid kits from Wally World, thinking that uh, you know, that a couple band aids, a couple Tylenol, you know, maybe maybe a two by two is gonna help them. And then they're good to go to run through through the woods, trying to run from bad situation. Well, that's great, and wonderful. I'm not that delusional. Uh, I kind of know that I need to put a little more oomph into my kits. So, without further ado, this is my kit for my get home bag, not my bug out bag, because my bug out bag is bigger, and my get home bag or my first aid kit, of course, will be bigger. But let's get started, okay? First things first. We got band-aids, okay? Band-aids of all shapes and sizes. Why? Because you got all shapes and sizes on your body, and you can hurt them, okay? Next, got first aid dressings, okay? Uh, you've seen them all. Military carries them on their pouches. Uh, various places you can buy them anywhere. Uh, they're sterile. They're great. You can buy them off the internet, multiple other places. As long as the wax paper on the inside is uh, not mangled, you're good, okay? Just put the white padded side to the wound. Same thing with the Israeli dressings. Israeli dressings are awesome. I've used them, patched people up with them. Uh, seen a lot of guys on here in their kits that got them. That's great. They've got an elastic attachment uh, thing. I guess you call it an elastic attachment. So uh, it works a little bit better to make tighter uh, dressing. Uh, same theory applies. You put the, the white gauze side to the wound. Okay. Then you got your cravats. Cravats are awesome. Uh, triangular dressings, what they're known as. Um, you buy them from any first aid place. If you want the OD ones, you know how to get them. Military surplus stores. Okay. Next, you got the two by twos and the four by fours. Okay. Little wounds, two by twos. Big wounds, four by fours. Makes sense. Okay. Common sense. Um, that's the first battle to any first aid kit. Okay. Got some steri strips. If you don't know how to use them, don't bother putting them in. Or go learn how to use them. Okay. Moleskin. Moleskin's for blisters. If you didn't heed the warning of the rest of the people on this uh, website, well, then you're going to probably get some blisters when you're running around in brand new boots trying to run. Okay? Uh, basically, the simple thing is cut out a hole in the center the size of the blisters on your foot, stick it to your foot, put your sock back on, bada bing, bada boom. Okay? The way I say stick it on your foot is right here. This little white side, this is the sticky part underneath it. That way it sticks to your foot. Okay? Makes it real easy. Right here, I got some hemostats. Hemostats are cool. I use them primarily there in the kit for putting steri strips on, but if necessary, I can clamp off stuff. I can use them for various other things. Uh, they're great if I have to tighten something or untighten something. Um, EMT shears, got 101 purposes. You know, they'll cut a penny, they'll cut you, whatever. You know, they've just got so many other things you can do with them. Right here, I got glow sticks. Okay, everybody's putting them in their kit. You know, nobody ever thinks put them in the first aid kit. Uh, well, some people do, you know. Uh, 550 cord. Basically, what this is for is if I'm calling in and I'm not going against assets with air assets, you hook up that 550 cord to the little hole on the inside, spin it about your head, they'll be able to see you for a good couple miles, okay? I got an IR one and a blue one. IR because I got members of my team that have IR capabilities. That way they can see me when nobody else can, okay? Got some Carmex here, okay? You got Carmex, Chapstick, Lip Balm, whatever you want to do. Uh, Carmex works best for me. And that's what I got. Okay, got a tourniquet, one-handed tourniquet. I don't like to bleed. Okay, some reason I'm missing part of my leg. Got a lot of blood. I'm trying to keep that red stuff in. That way I can live through the fight. Okay, antibiotic equipment. Okay, antibiotic equipment. Simple expan simple explanation. Okay, you got to keep the wound clean if you don't want to infect. Alcohol press. Alcohol is great. Okay, why? You got to clean the wound. Uh, just work for the wise. You got small kids. You put an alcohol on them. They're gonna scream like the Dickens. If you don't already know, I gotta buy some more anti-sting stuff. It's worth it not to hear my children scream. 
Roll gauze. I like to injure the small digits on my body, so I got a little roll gauze here. Uh, it's just the way it works. Multiple size tapes, because I like to have a choice. Okay, I know a little photon light or a little LED light. Photon the company. Okay, so I got the bright, the dim, and the strobe. Okay, buy them, use them. They have, you know, you can use them for anything, and they can be seen everywhere. Okay, got a little hot hands over here. High hands. Basically, you know what they are. Most people up north know what they are. They keep your, you know, they keep different parts of your body closed. Uh, I mean, keep different parts of your body warm. Sorry, bad speech. It's all right though. I'll be fine. Um, I got to pull a couple more out of my big kit to put to this little kit, but that's uh, basically I use the big ones to put on top of my chest. Keep your center cavity warm. Most it'll it'll keep the rest of your body warm to help supplement your wool socks and your and your poncho or your poncho liners, sleeping bags, whatever you're carrying. Okay, uh, that's basically, uh, looks to me, that's pretty much what's in the kit. Maybe, uh, you know, got your ace bandage here. Uh, ace bandage has multiple uses, okay? I like to be utilitarian in my, in my stuff, okay? I can use it for rolled ankle, rolled knee, rolled elbow. You know, you messed up your ankle or messed up your elbow doing something, roll it up. If not, let's say the tape's giving away because, you know, or you run out of tape or something happens and, and your dressings aren't sticking, you can use that. That plus that equals an Israeli dressing, okay? So I got an improvised Israeli dressing. You know what they say, improvise and adapt, right? Okay? You got to have multiple reasons to do certain things, okay? Uh, all of it goes into my little spec house bag, okay? Got my little spec house bag here. Uh, great little purchase when I purchased it. Never thought, you know, but hey, what the heck, it's being used for this now. No problem. Okay, one of the things I want to discuss with you guys while I have some time, um, most of the guys that I see that are improvising or pu putting together their own bags is they're putting together their own bags with medications. That's great. You know, if you want to put Tylenol, ibuprofen, Benadryl, all that stuff in your bag, that's great. But if you're not going to leave it in the original container, you need to put it in a little Ziploc bag with a big Mac magic marker right now. What it is, what the dosage is, the day that it expires. This way, if you're running... Uh, north or something and you, and, and you run into a police roadblock and they're not who you're trying to avoid <laughs> uh, make sure make sure you got make sure you got your uh, gear and you know you, you got all your stuff in check and the reason that you want the meds are marked is you don't want them thinking that your Tylenol is some other kind of narcotic um, if you're carrying prescriptions I highly recommend I highly 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 recommend that you leave them in their prescription containers. If you're not going to listen to me, then carry a copy of the prescription with you. Okay? You just you do not want to be held up by a roadblock because Grandma wanted to carry her Monday through Friday thing instead of just having the stupid little orange jug that came in. Okay? So if you got the prescription, you might have to do a little talking to the police officers or whoever the National Guard or whoever's there. But they'll probably let you go if you can prove that you got the prescription, okay? Just simple theories uh, that work. Um, another thing you want to do is get educated, okay? Every, every organization out there offers first aid classes. Companies offer first aid classes. The American Red Cross offers red cl uh, first aid classes. Just everybody's talking about CPR. That's great if you have time to do CPR. The AED is great if you have an AED. I don't see anybody schlepping an AED. So go get you a basic first aid class. You know, if you don't have time, go to the surplus store. Go to a Boy Scout council. Pick up a first aid book. Go to a Girl Scout council and pick up a first aid book. Pick up something. Read it. Okay? Go to the library. You know, that's that place with all those books on the shelves that nobody goes to hardly anymore. <laughs> you know? Look it up. Study. Practice it at your house. There's just no... There's just no limit to the amount of knowledge that you can put inside your head when it comes to saving your own life so that's my suggestion you know I'm just you know a dumb old redneck from South Florida I don't know no better but I like to read I like to learn more I like to be up on the latest and greatest things uh, you know these are not static stuff you know they're ever adapting so you know maybe next time if I have another video if I update a bunch of stuff something great comes out I'll be doing another video on it. But right now, uh, I only got a couple seconds left, so if you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, uh, feel free to message me, comment me, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.